time we're going to look in your step-by-step -step workbook and we're in chapter 10. I want you to look at number 36. This is um, an E&M service that we're going to look at. We're going to go through this number 36 and determine how to select which level of service. So reading in number 36, we have the patient is a 34-year-old established patient seen in the clinic by her dermatologist. She is followed for extensive psoriasis involving her scalp, trunk, and arms. It is now worsened and spread to her palms, and she is now also complaining of joint pain. The spread to her hands has made it difficult to do many of her day-to-day -day tasks. A detailed history and examination are performed. The examination includes inspection of the affected areas in addition to bending and rotation of joints. A long discussion took place regarding a change in her medications to try to gain better control of her psoriasis and slow down the systemic progression. Topical and systemic treatment was decided on. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. And the first thing that we need to know is um, those factors of E&M coding. We need to know the place of service, the type of service, and the patient status. The very first line tells us everything we need to know for that. The patient is a 34-year-old established, so we know she's an established patient, seen in the clinic, so we know it's an office visit, by her dermatologist. Nowhere in this paragraph does it say that she's seen in consultation from another physician. Um, so we automatically know that this patient has an established office visit. Um, so that's the first thing that we need to know. And in that case, we're going to take our CPT manual and the established patient office visits start on page 12. So if you will open to page 12 here, and then we're going to go back to our problem and look through here. Now we need to know about the extent of the history and the extent of the examination before we can even go any farther. Well, if you'll look about halfway down in the paragraph, it tells us that a detailed history and examination are performed. So we know we have a detailed history, we have a detailed examination. So let's start here with our established patient codes in our CPT manual and see what happens with that. Okay, under 99211, um, this one is going to be um, typically five minutes spent and this is typically going to be where the physician is not involved. So in that case, a 99211 is not going to work. Looking on at 99212, um, there's nothing there about detailed history or detailed examination. Same thing for 99213, but here under 99214, it does say a detailed history and a detailed examination. Now bullet point number three says medical decision making of moderate complexity. Um, so we can look back at our paragraph. And as you scan through here, it doesn't specifically say um, what level or what extent the medical decision making was. Now you can read and looking at um, the table that's in your CPT manual at the top of page 10, um, you could go through and look at number of diagnoses or management options, the amount or complexity of the data that had to be reviewed, and the risk of complications and so forth. Um, you could look at that and go through to see if it's modern moderate complexity. However, if you will remember from the previous video about our E&M coding, um, only two of these three components must be met. Also, as you look at 99214, it tells you in that first paragraph there that it requires at least two of these three components. Well, we already have two out of three. We've got a detailed history and a detailed examination. So even if your medical decision making is not quite moderate complexity, we still could code that 99214 because we do have two out of three. So the correct EM code on number 36, chapter 10 in your workbook is 99214.